Hey everybody, Jane here, and it is 11-ish at night on October 31st. Here is the clock. <sighs> anyway, um, I am getting ready to go to IHOP to meet with my friends to kick off NaNoWriMo. So I am in the car right now. And as you can see, it is all dark. So we are meeting at IHOP to kick off. I'm excited, a little bit nervous this year. Um, I didn't win NaNoWriMo last year, and while I had a ton of energy going into this, the last couple days have been rough. <laughs> and I'm just not sure that I'm gonna make it this year, so I'm a little bit freaked out. So um, yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna get started, we're gonna give our best effort. I am going to allow myself one small change though. Normally with NaNoWriMo, I try to use my 50,000 words on one project and I don't think I'm going to be that picky this year. There's two projects that I really want to work on plus I have an unfinished project and so at this point whatever words I add to stuff, whatever I, whatever I do writing my, is going to just count towards my 50,000 goal. I do have a book that I really want to get finished first drafting, but I'm just not, I'm not sure that I'm going to be, it's going to get to 50,000 words in the first draft, number one. And number two, I'm worried that if I tell myself that's the only thing you can do, um, I may just not get there. Whereas if I tell myself, okay, there's two ideas that you're really excited about, plus this other thing you need to finish, while that's a little scattered, I know that I can finish things. I have over a dozen completed novels. So to me, the this isn't a, oh my gosh, I've got to learn how to start a novel. I've got to turn the heat on. It's been really cold in here, sorry. Um, hope you can still hear me. This isn't for me a, oh my gosh, I hope I can start a novel. This is just another day in paradise, maybe upping my word count a little more than I have this year. So a little bit of grace for myself. I will let you know that. And I'm off. See you next or see you in a bit. Bye. Here is my setup at IHOP. I have the Adams Family hot chocolate. I've got a water. I've got my notebook with notes in it. And I've got my Neo. So I am ready to roll. I'm here at IHOP with a group of writers. The two that you see here are Mike Gear, who writes the Broken World series, and J.L. Ender, who has written Portal World, which I read earlier this year, and he's also the editor for Havoc. We previously on this channel had done an interview with him. Both are amazing, and I was so pleased to be able to write with them during this NaNoWriMo. At one point I had to stop and get some dinner because I was starving. I had steak tips with two sides of fries. Granite, not healthy, but what do you want for NaNoWriMo food? 3.39 in the morning. So I've been NaNoing for the last three hours. There was food involved and Talking, so I probably best guess got about 2,000 words. It is all one story that I did so far, so I feel good about my progress, but I definitely, um, and, and it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was the story I wasn't really excited about working on. I am proud of what I did. I got through the introduce the boy, introduce the girl, and cut to the scene where they meet. They are meeting at Thanksgiving. Their family is, you know, kind of having a crazy Thanksgiving meal. Lots of talk to his sister who is trying to have a baby and basically to all the other girls at the table, like, why haven't you found men yet? That kind of thing. It's exciting. It's nice. I had fun. Uh, this book definitely is not going to be 50,000 words by the time I'm done but that's about where things are at at this point. So yeah, 
I will check in with you later. Bye. Hey everybody, Jane here, and uh, today is November 2nd. It is Saturday, and I am about to join my writer's group for a write-in thing. So we're all going to hang out and write. To protect everybody's privacy, I probably won't be taking pictures, um, maybe just of my setup, but I don't want to take pictures of people who maybe aren't published and aren't comfortable with people knowing that they're at a writer's group. Um, I did just get off of work, so I'm tired, and after this I want to go home and go to bed. But we are, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and we're going to be writing until about noon. So I'm hoping to make more progress on my NaNoWriMo project. Um, I did get a little bit of writing done uh, during my lunch break at work, but I had forgotten to bring my outline, so I started working on that second story I was telling you that I might be working on. So um, today, though, I'm going to jump back to the romance. I'm excited. I'm ready to do this. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Here, and it is day three, three of NaNoWriMo. Um, so it's November 3rd. I was at the library yesterday. I did get some reading done, but it wasn't a super productive night. And I did a little more writing on my lunch break at work. And I'm a little bit worried that I'm behind. I'm not really sure if I'm where I need to be. Because I'm using my Neo, I'm not keeping like an updated count. So I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, my character's on their first date so that's progress and then the girl in my horror saw the ghost for the first time so more progress but I just yeah I'm a little worried that I'm not gonna make it for NaNoWriMo and today is a busy-ish day with the time change I ended up having a nine and a half hour shift last night so that means I really need a little extra sleep today and I promised my kids I would take them to this thing at the library where they can look at reptile things. So I'm excited, but I'm also kind of tired and going wild. This was a smart thing to do to myself. So yes, um, day three, slightly freaking out. It'll be okay, I think, I hope, but yeah, so. This is what's up. I hope your nano is going better than mine and I will hopefully check in tomorrow if not today. All right guys, bye. We did in fact get to go see Gator Dave and here are some of the pictures from our adventure. I decided that I was going to play Stardew Valley instead of working on my NaNoWriMo because procrastination is a thing. Hey everybody, Jane here. It is November 4th and it's cold. Oh, it's so, so cold. I am sitting in my car waiting for it to heat up so I can go home. Um, yeah, yesterday no writing happened at all. And uh, even last night on my lunch break, I didn't write. So I ended up having to do research for one of the books I was working on. And I realized that I really couldn't continue until I did that research because I kept just making notes in my manuscript, like figure this out. But some of them, the things affected major plot points. So one of my NaNoWriMo projects is the third book in a series. And it is the romance of a minor character from books, the first two books in the previous series. But I couldn't remember certain aspects of what I'd written. Um, for instance, I knew there was some issue with his father, but I couldn't remember if his dad wasn't in the picture anymore or what the issue with his dad was. So 
I have this Thanksgiving scene where the characters kind of meet and I was like, is his dad at the Thanksgiving or is his dad not? I can't remember if his dad is still in his life at all. So I'd like re go back and look at everything I'd written about this character and like where he was working and what he was doing when we last met him. And yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now is on my lunch break last night, I just went back and like made notes of all the things I know about this character from the previous books. That way I don't screw anything up and then I can add to it. But yeah, it was bad. Today, I expect to get some writing done. My daughters have a dance class tonight and usually I read during dance class, but since it's NaNoWriMo, I think I might just plan to write instead. Although the waiting room can get kind of crazy, there can be a lot of kids, it just depends. So if it's super loud and super obnoxious, I may not be able to concentrate, but if it's not, I might try to get writing in during their dance class. If I can do that, I'll still be behind, but not maybe as super behind as I would be otherwise. And then hopefully tonight on my lunch break, I can get a little bit of writing done as well because I will know what's up with the guy's dad. So yeah, um, that's about what I've got for you. Yeah, it's this NaNoWriMo so far has not been great. I, I was all excited and then it came and now I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And it's only day four, so that probably doesn't bode well for the rest of NaNoWriMo. But here we are. All right, guys, um, I'll check on, in with you in a few hours, a few days. Who knows? All right, bye. Hey everybody, Jane here, NaNoWriMo update. I am at dance and not writing. I feel like crap, I'm tired, I'm over it, so no writing is happening. Yeah. Hey guys, Jane here, and it is the night of the 4th of November. So I didn't get any writing done earlier when the kids were in jazz. And to be honest, I hope to get a little done on my lunch break at work, but I'm not sure. I am really just still not feeling great. And I'm not sure if I'm coming down with a virus or if I'm kind of recovering from last week. Um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which I think I've mentioned probably a million times on this channel. But in case you're new here and didn't know, and that can cause some different issues. And last, about the last 11 or 12 days, I've been really struggling with some of that. Now I am on medication and the medication has been making me a little bit sicker than usual. I'm not really sure what's going on. It sometimes just happens, especially with stress and tiredness and being out of sorts. We're in the middle of a time change. We're in the middle of a weather change. So there's a good chance that I'll be fine and I just am not feeling great, but I will be very shortly. But it's also possible I'm coming down with something and I'm just kind of like my immune system's fighting it. So I think we're going to wait and see how that goes. If I feel up to it tonight, I do want to write on my lunch break. Um, I'm, I'm just not sure how I'm going to catch up at this point. I don't know how behind I am and I don't think I'm super behind. There is a write-in on Wednesday, which is the 6th. So maybe I could catch up some there. I'm going to check my word count on Thursday and probably upload this vlog on Thursday or Friday as well. But um, until that happens, I'm just not really sure where I'm at. And I am still going to write and I'm still going to try. But this has been a sucky start, to be honest. I really wanted a much stronger NaNoWriMo start than I'm getting. And this current start is kind of making me really sad. So... Um, I wanted to start strong out of the, out of the starting gate and I just feel like it has been, no. So yeah, 11 o'clock at night on the 4th and I'm, I'm really struggling, feeling pretty defeated. That's where we're at. I'll talk to you later. Bye. It is Jane here. It is 
the morning of November 6th. Um, yeah, I did get writing done last night on my break. Not a lot, but the writing I did do was really good, so I was excited about it. Basically, I worked on my ghost story, and I had a new kind of development with it that I hadn't thought of or planned or expected. So that was fun. I love when a story surprises me or gives me something that I wasn't expecting to have. So that was awesome and amazing. I don't know how much writing I will get in today. It is my day off. I do not have to work tonight. There is supposed to be a writer's meeting tonight where we can do writing sprints. However, my daughter is having her teeth pulled this morning and I'm not sure how she's going to handle that. If she does really well and everything's fine and I get to take a nice nap and it goes quickly, I will probably go to the writer's meeting tonight. If she's not doing so well and decides she can't go to school or if it takes so long to get her teeth pulled that I don't get a good sleep, I may skip the meeting. If I do that, I'm probably gonna be even more behind. If I don't, I may actually be able to catch up at the meeting tonight, more or less, um, at least make some progress. Tomorrow I'm gonna check my actual status and see where I am word count wise. So you'll know soon how far behind the last couple days of being unproductive got me. The first couple days I was kicking it. I went to IHOP the first night in the morning, uh, like midnight and was kicking butt. And then the Saturday I was kicking butt at writer's group and just, I was doing so good and now feel like I'm not. So we'll see what happens. I'm still excited. I am feeling a little better about it than I was yesterday. I think the last couple days I just wasn't feeling good and that made it hard to focus on my writing. So better now and I'm hoping to continue. We'll know what's happening soon. Bye. This is Jane here sitting in my car outside of our writers meeting. I'm about to go in and hopefully get in a couple hours writing tonight and then tomorrow see how the first week will have wrapped up. Um, it is the 6th so tomorrow will be the 7th and it will be exactly one week into NaNoWriMo. So I think I'm a little behind. I am not sure how far behind and I'm gonna definitely try to catch up but I'm also gonna give myself a break if I can't. Words written is words written. So I am, you know, I'm a mom, I work full time, and I have a book coming out this week. So life is just kind of busy and it's okay if I am at 40,000 words instead of 50,000 words. I'd like to be at least 40,000. 10,000 words a week is not, should not be super, super impossible, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be less than that. Um, but I am still trying. I am still excited. I am still excited for my story. So yeah, i um, about to hop off of here. Probably the next time you see me, I will be figuring out how many words I have. All right, guys. Bye. It's Jane here, and we are on day seven of NaNoWriMo, which means that I'm supposed to have 11,669 words done by the end of the day. Now, as you can guess from this vlog, <laughs> it's been a bit of a struggle and I don't think we're gonna get there, but we are about to find out where I am at and I'm excited, but also a little nervous. So we're going to hook up my Neo. All right, so we are opening up my Neo and attaching it to the computer. I have my Word document open and we are going to hit send and it is going to start typing and at the end we will see how many words we have so far moment of truth um i'm a little bit feeling better about this than i was it is 15 pages long which means there is a good chance we are at least at eight or nine thousand words so i'm not too far behind if i'm behind I hope. So the length of this has me feeling pretty good. So let's click on word count and see what we come up with. I am at 10,200 words. So a little bit behind, although, you know, if I write today, I would need to catch up 
um, about 1,400 words. So that is not bad considering it is early in the day on the 7th. I feel like I am not far from where I need to be if I did my math right. Um, regardless, I feel like I'm at a pretty good place. I'm fine with that number for the seventh day. So yeah, that's where we're at. And um, I'm going to record a little bit of a wrap up of my feelings. All right, I will be putting all this together soon. Bye. All right guys, um, Jane here. I am okay with where things are, I think. I will probably not be continuing these vlogs. This was a lot to put together. It was fun, it was interesting, but I think I will just be in the future doing kind of a, here's where I'm at, and um, just like word counts maybe for the week. I'm, I'm not sure, but a daily vlog was fun, but maybe is more work than I wanna put in during NaNoWriMo when I'm still learning how to do this and yeah. Uh, I am happy with how both of my stories are going. So overall, this has been decent. And I don't know if I'll catch up on my writing tonight or if I will have to do some sprints this weekend. But overall, I'm not as far behind as I thought. So I'm just going to appreciate that. Um, how is your NaNoWriMo going? I hope it is going well. Please let me know. Also below are ways to connect with me off of YouTube. I will talk to you next time, guys. Bye.